So now I'm going to show you how to change the drive valve on the KBOX 4 Pro. The tools that you will need is this aluminum key. The first step is to place this key inside the slot here, as you can see, and give it a little push. The pin should come right off. You can then take it out and put it at one side. Next up, you remove this strap all the way and out of the pulley. Just give it a little just give it a knot here to make sure that the spring, the, the drive belt does not retract all the way when you later overturn it. As you can see, after we overturn the K-Box 4 and it's lying flat, the lever will be pushed and the bite will be released. Hence, this drive belt is not, no longer being clamped down and it will retract all the way. If, there is, if you did not tie a knot just now, the belt will retract all the way and you will lose the pretension over here. So to continue on, you take out this drive out here, release the knot, draw the drive out from this area, and start pulling it all the way, until you see this hook over here. You then remove the drive out in this manner. Next, put the hook over here so that it does not retract back into the mechanism. You take a new drive belt, remove the rubber band, and roll it all the way. Now, put it through the bite over here, under this metal piece. And just after a bit, tie a knot over here. Not too tight, you do not want to damage the drive valve. Now, you pull it all the way until you, re you reach the other end. And you pull it onto the hook. Slowly release the drive belt back into the mechanism. Make sure that the drive belt is smooth. If the knot came off, if the knot comes off, make sure you tie it again. Now we will flip over the K-Box 4 to continue the rest of the operation. After you have flipped over the K-Box 4, draw out the drive belt. You will release the knob right now, but make sure you still hold on to the drive belt. Take the pulley and pull the drive belt through. Now put the drive belt through the shaft and take the pin to put it inside. Carefully put it into the shaft itself, making sure to align the pin into the hole. Once that is done, Give it a little pull. And it is now fully secured. Your okay, K-Box 4 is now ready for use.